Good morning, folks. Welcome back. We have space weather to discuss, seismicity, and top science news articles in the peer-reviewed journals. Starting with our star, the flaring and eruptive activity remained at the departing group on the north, over the top right quadrant. Otherwise, we have mostly seen smaller surface motions and surges on the Earth-facing side and a large coronal hole near the equator. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are within normal range, but that coronal hole will amplify plasma conditions later this week. Looking next at the southern sunspots, we've had quite a bit of development in several of them, but no real flaring. As the forward development reversed and is decaying that sunspot group, we come to focus on the trailing active region. It does have size, but isn't flaring because its magnetism is very well divided east and west. Without mixing of those polarities, it has failed to produce eruptive activity. Taiwan has been rocking with some large earthquakes the last day and a half, with a 6.9 overnight that collapsed buildings. Damage reports still coming in and will do so throughout the day. Folks, we've got to look at the global electric circuit in a couple ways this morning. Remember the sun and cosmic rays impact the atmospheric electricity flowing and the clouds, precipitation, and surface temperatures along with it. Up first, it's the charge carried by the rain. Excellent detection and reporting of this rainfall aspect in the electrical interaction as the energization of the upper layers of the atmosphere wants to come down not only in the high pressure nodes but in the rainfall where the high and low pressure cells meet. When looking at rainfall patterns overall, in proper statistical analysis, we get yet another confirmation of how solar activity modulates that rainfall to add to the dozens of similar conclusions in other papers. And the same is true for snowfall rates as well, with the bonus observation in this one that increases in sunspots and solar activity directly cause greater surface temperatures here at the ground. These topics and others about solar forcing of the geophysical condition are covered in detail in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, our textbook on the topic. You can find it and our other books and more at the links below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.